Kevin Alex One here, and today I will be talking to you about my top 10 favorite uh, Pokemon. Um, I'm not going to be doing the Legendaries today, that will be for their own video, and I really think that I should do this because, I mean, I'm a Pokemon fan, so, and I'm a YouTuber, so, I mean, I think that all YouTube, YouTube Pokemon people should eventually do their favorite, <coughs> excuse me, their favorite top 10, um, po uh, favorite top 10 Pokemon list, so here's mine. Number 10. Uh, my 10th favorite is Minchino, and I put it on this list because it's kind of my favorite. It's not been anything too good in the game, however, it is really strong. I think it's pretty cute, and I mean, it's organized. It's really well organized, and I kind of like that about it. Um, not many Pokemon are very organized, more so they are all pretty destructive. Um, however, Minchino's kind of got that cute aspect, and also, um, I involved into Chinchino, and I used in the Pokemon League. Uh, in black and white, in the Pokemon black and white game that I have, and it pretty much decimated everybody. So, yeah, that's my 10th favorite, Minchino. Number 9. My 9th favorite is Dedenne, and um, being that I really like electric Pokemon, kind of like Clement, um, only I just like electric Pokemon because they're awesome electric Pokemon I've always liked, and Pikachu was my um, first... Pokemon that I ever run into, so, um, Dedenne's the ninth because he's electric and also fairy, which is pretty cool because, um, electric Pokemon, or Dedenne being electric, now he can also affect other Pokemon that are a little bit more resistant to his electric moves, so now he can use fairy moves against other Pokemon. He would not be able to kill as easily, or, I'm sorry, faint, or knock out as easily, um, before. Um, so, Dedenne's, um, pretty cute and he's pretty awesome. And I really like him. Uh, I used him a little bit in my X and Y game, but that was uh, when I played the second uh, run around. And I like him. He's got pretty good defense uh, if you train it pretty well, EV train. And he's pretty good. Yeah, I really like him. So that's the Dene, my number nine. Number eight, Helioptile. Um, Helioptile is my eighth because. I, um, Helioptile is electric and normal, and he's pretty cool, pretty cute, pretty fast, I like speed, um, also electric, I like electric, um, but before in my X game, I didn't really care about him at all, because I thought he was like one of those just random, uh, wild Pokemon, and I didn't really care about him, but then the more I started watching the anime show, the more I started liking, uh, Helioptile, and so now he's um, on my top 10 favorite list, so he's uh, in number 8, and he's pretty cool if, um, I know when you involve him into Heliolisk, and then um, give him some good stat, um, good EV training, and then also get a good moveset, he becomes a wall in um, competitive battling, and that's pretty cool of him. You give him like a leftovers, and then rain dance, if he, have this, if he has this dry skin, and so on, and then water type moves don't affect uh, don't affect them. They actually heal him, and then he's also got the leftovers healing. And he becomes a wall, and that's awesome. Also, with rain dance, you can give him thunder and decimate everybody that gets in your way. So, yeah, Helioptile, pretty awesome Pokemon. Number eight. Number seven, Joltik. My seventh seventh favorite is Joltik. I had one on my Pokemon Black and White team and he helped me out a lot in the um, Pokemon League because he was able to take out, well, as Galvantula, after you've involved him, he's able to take out basically the whole entire Psych person um, if you train him really well and that's pretty awesome. So, and also as a, when I first saw um, Joltik and his evolution, um, I kind of thought, how awesome would it be to just go to school on the back of Galvantula? He's really awesome. He's really fast. He would just literally just run across the street to where you need to go. And yeah, also I can only imagine. Joel takes four inches in his size. I can only imagine a tiny itsy little Joltik in, in the palm of my hand. It'd be so cute. I could just like pet him all day. You know, pet his back all day. It'd be so adorable. And, um, so yeah, that's my seventh favorite Joltik. Number six, Chespi the Chespin. 
I really like the Kalos starters, Chespin, Froakie, and Fennekin. And the one that really comes to me is Chespin. Um, it's because he's really cute, really awesome. Got this really inter the anime portrays it as he's got this really interested interesting side to him. Um, always grabbing those um, pokey puffs and eating them for himself, not really sharing with anyone. That's kind of cute. That's kind of awesome. I can see myself doing that sometimes. Uh, if I like, I don't know, maybe some chocolate cookies and I don't want anybody else to have them. I'll sneak them into my room and eat like half of them and then put it back into the, into the um, closet or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And um, also, I was able to beat the Pokemon League in Pokemon X with just with um, lots of help from Chespin because I had him leveled up to around 70-ish. And um, I gave him some really good moves that he would be able to counter lots of um, the opponents with, and he he just kind of, kind of dominated a lot of the competition. And yeah, he's really awesome. Also, one added thing is um, his last evolution, Chestnut. I really like that evolution because he has a spike shield and. When you think of a Pokemon using Protect, you would think that the attacker would be able to be hurt in any way if it was physical, and so they made that possible with Chestnut's spiky shield. So that's my number six, Chestnut. Number five, Emolga. Um, for Emolga, that's another Electric type Pokemon, so I put it um in the middle of the list, and um, it's really cute. Um, yeah, I know, I like cute Pokemon. Fight me. Anyway. Um, Emolga is really cute and also electric, and then the other part of it is flying. So, you know how in Pokemon X and Y you're able to fight these flying trainers that only use flying Pokemon, so it's like an air battle? Um, Emolga comes in really handy because it can dominate all, always, or most of the time, those, um, flying battles other than if the other person is using Emolga or a Rotom. I almost, okay. I almost lost to a trainer with a Rotom in those sky battles. It was ridiculous. I had a Staraptor and Staraptor di uh, got uh, knocked out pretty quickly because Rotom is really good. And then also, Amolga was almost done, however, Amolga uh, went through the whole entire battle, took out Rotom, and I won. That Rotom. It's, it's scary. I, I never knew that a trainer in, or an AI would have a legendary, semi-legendary. Is Rotom a legendary? I don't know. I think it is. So number five, Amolga. Number four, Zorua. So Zora is pretty cute. Um, and its last evolution, or its other evolution, Zorark, is instead of cute, it's really menacing. Um, but that's not the reason why I put Zora uh, so close to the top one. Um, I put Zora as number four because. It's really good in battle, or is what I think, and also I like its ability where it can be the last Pokemon on your team. And so people think that um, since it's the last, since it turns into like, let's say you have Rayquaza as your last Pokemon and you pull out Zora, it transforms into uh, Rayquaza, people think that, oh, I'll use a Dragon type on it. Well, eh, that might not really work. Um, so I really like how Zora can do that, and then Zora is just kind of really cute, in my opinion. Um, it's like, it looks like a little boxy Pokemon, which is, I don't know, adorable, kind of. I mean, there's other, I think, box-type looking Pokemon in the Pokemon universe. I don't know, there's 721. I don't know. Um, but other than that, Zora is pretty good. Oh, I also use it in my Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire um, game. I have Omega Ruby. And um, I use it against the Pokemon League, and it's really good. I didn't know Sydney, uh, the first elite member you run into, would have a Zorark the second time you battle the Elite Four in Omega or Alpha. I didn't know that. So I thought that was pretty clever, where you had one of the Elite um, Four members having a Legendary. I mean, I say Legendary, but and I'm pretty sure that Zora and Zorark are Legendaries, but really. You can easily find them in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and I'm not sure if they're legendaries anymore, so I, I guess that's another reason why it's on this list, is because it's not fully a legendary anymore, or I don't think Nintendo is really portraying it as such. 
But I don't know, that's then. But anyway, that's Zora, number four on my list. Number three, Ashuan. So, when Black and White first came out, I really adored Ashuata's design. So, in Black and- uh, so in Generation 6, Black and White, right? Or Generation 5? They had uh, Snivy, Ashua, and Tepid. I liked Snivy a lot, he, he was very kind of like smug, you know? Kind of like the cool kind of, you know, Pokemon. Then there was Ashua, the more, uh, middle between the two, more cuter kind of, and then there's Tepid. I don't think anybody took Tepig. Unless you did, I don't know. But Ashwat looks pretty cool. It's, it's kind of adorable. Um, it's got the little uh, shell as it's kind of like sword as it portrays. And I think that's cute. Also, also in one um, episode, Zor uh, Zorua, Ashwat was looking for its little shell to use in battle. And uh, it lost it, and then as it thought it found it, it actually picked up a Joltik and put it on its chest, and that was hilarious, because the Joltik zapped it. Um, and so I really like Ashwat's water type to kind of balance out my team, and um, I don't know, Ashwat and Duat and Samurai. I like Duat, it's pretty like teenage year kind of uh, Ashwat, and then Samurai is kind of the more mature one, the more um, tactical one, the one that knows a lot, so... Yeah, I really like Ashwa, and so that's my number three. Number two. You thought that this Pokemon would not be on the list, even though I mentioned it um, a few minutes ago about Ashwa. No, number two is Snivy. I really like Snivy, like I said, um, and Snivy is kind of the smug kind of Pokemon, very like sneaky, very um, keen of, about its surroundings, very, you know, always watching what's going on, and really up to date and I really like that about it and um then there comes Servine then it comes Servine and Superior Superior is just like it sounds it's superior over everybody now I, I know it wouldn't like do good against like flying fire or poison but Superior could be really good if you train its EV and IV stats and then have a good ability for it and then its move set is also really nice it could be really strong um, I played Black and White twice. I played it one round with Snivy and then another round with Oshawa. Um, and I found a good balance between the two. I was able to make similar teams from uh, when I had two different starters. However, I wouldn't make the exact same team. I would probably switch up one or two Pokemon to counter its uh, weak both of their weaknesses. Um, but again, Snivy's really awesome. Um, lots of people say he is, and He's one of my most favorite uh, designs out of the Pokemon Black and White series. So number two, Snivy. Number one. Sorry, I don't know. Try to be cool. Um, number one is Pikachu. The one, the only Pokemon that actually got me into uh, liking Pokemon. So I really like Pikachu one because he's electric. The other because he's adorable. Then. He also involves into Raichu, which I think when I when I see and hear Raichu, I'm like, dang, it's like a stronger Pikachu kind of way. And Raichu's more tactical with its tail of what I've seen, but Pikachu. Oops, hit my mouse. Um Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu, mouse Pokemon. Um Pikachu's adorable. I have a plushie of him, you can see in the next video or something. Oh spoilers. Anyway, um I really like Pikachu, he's electric, he's strong. Defense-wise, not so much, but attack and special attack-wise, he is pretty good. Um, let's be honest here. Ash, you don't know what you're doing, okay? Pikachu could be much stronger than he is, in my opinion. And Ash, I mean, if they got rid of Ash, believe me, the anime would be a little bit better. But whatever, I can't control that. Anyway, I just like Pikachu because he's pretty awesome, pretty cute, pretty adorable, really strong. And he's the reason why I'm into Pokemon, so yeah, I have to add him in here as number one because he was the one that made me like Pokemon in the first place, so why would I have Pikachu as like another number? And that's really the only other reason uh, that Pikachu is number one. And other than that, that's my top ten list of my favorite Pokemon from the Pokemon uh, universe. All the Pokemon did have a fair trial at this uh, list because I played all the games and all the Pokemon. And, yeah, and other than that, Pikachu's my number one, and that was my top ten list. 